VI has also many so-called uh, set commands to define how the editor should behave. And one useful to me is to display the line numbers uh, with SENU. For instance, I have to be in command mode, colon SENU. I can um, undo the display by typing SC no NU, but let's, let's say that way demonstrate the next uh, feature. I want to show you another way to delete some lines. Uh, if you have a very very big file and you want to delete large chunks, you can also delete by typing uh, colon, beginning line, comma, end line, and then D. For instance, uh, let's say I want to delete uh, from line 3 to the end. I can type colon, 3 to the end, or to 5. Huh? Another interesting way to delete is by searching a uh, line with a peculiar word. For instance, here I can search from the beginning to the end, one comma dollar, go with fill and delete all the line containing fill. For example, uh, well, I don't have much of a text file here, but um, let's search for all the line with uh, sum and delete them. So from the beginning to the end, go with sum and delete. Uh, I just put another example here just to mention that uh, you can also use the dot sign which means the current line. So if you want to delete from the beginning till the current position you can use one comma dot. VI is an old editor and at the time it was designed the arrow keys and page up page down were not standardized so you also have an alternative way to move and that may be useful if you are connected to a system and you have terminal problems. So with the HJKL keys you can move left, down, up and right. You can also use uh, Ctrl F or Ctrl B uh, as an alternate way to do page down or page up. So you have seen that VI is not that easy and intuitive to use. You do have to learn a couple of commands. But finish, I wanted to show you an example of some uh, difficult but powerful stuff you can also do. Let's say, uh, for example, I have a file with uh, some location name and uh, a year. And I want to revert that. I want to put the year at the beginning and then a dash and the location name. Well, one way to do it is with the following regular expression, which I will decipher uh, for you. You may have recognized first uh, the scope. I want to do that from the first line to the last line. Then you have the beginning of the search expression. The hat means the beginning of the line. Next, I have backslash parentheses, which defines a block I want to save. Um, and I want to reuse in the replace expression. So here I have dot which means any character and star which means any number of occurrence and then the end of my block uh, saving and then the underscore character. So basically this will save everything from the beginning of the line until the uh, underscore character. So hopefully that will take the location name. Next I have again a block saved and here I'm recognize every digit character so that's what this bracket expression means every character from 0 to 9. You can also use from A to Z or whatever any couple of times so hopefully that will match the um, year here. Then I finish the search expression and I'm using the blocks I just saved in the reverse order uh, separated with a dash. So let's uh, quit the file I have here and edit a new file locations and type very quickly my example 
So, I have to be in command mode, colon, from the first line to the last line, I want to search. Starting the beginning of the line, I want to save a block. So backslash parentheses, start my block, any character, any number of occurrences, end of my block, followed by the underscore character. Then I want to save another block with some um, digits, so from 0 to 9 characters any uh, number of times. End of the block, end of the search uh, part, and I want to replace that with, well, the second block I found, dash, the first block. Let's see. Done. Well, that's it with my VI introduction. Uh, you can find some more information easily by googling for VI or checking the Wikipedia page um, for VI or regular expressions. I note that on Linux you also have the Vim Tutor command, which will uh, uh, help you to learn about VI or inside the VI or Vim uh, editor the uh, colon help command. So um, that's it for today and any comment is welcome. Goodbye.